is Intro Machine with Ian Sturgeon. Quick tips to build a better podcast today. Now, the man behind the machine. Me. My name's Ian Sturgeon. I am the man behind the machine, you might say. I turn all the screws, push all the buttons, write all the music beds, uh, produce all the intros, make all the funny sounds, all that. That's my job. And I started this podcast because I really want to add value to the podcast community. We've all heard the saying, a high tide floats all boats, right? So I want everybody's podcast to sound better so people don't just write off podcasts as something that uh, they don't want any part of, right? So let's improve podcasting together. With this podcast, I have no other intention other than making your show awesome. So first things first, I'm going to talk today about environmental noise. And I know that may sound basic to some of you, but I've got some advanced sort of stuff later on in the show, so please stay tuned even if you think you know pretty much all about this, okay? I'm going to assume that all of you listening have purchased a microphone that is between like $60 and $300, somewhere in that range. If not, um, I suggest you go microphone shopping as soon as possible because what I'm going to say here probably won't matter if you haven't spent at least that much on a microphone, get a decent mic. All right. So let's talk about environmental noise. First of all, just sit down in your studio and listen really closely and think about what is making any noise at all right now and listen really, really closely. After that, go through this checklist and see if something's on here that you might improve. Okay. So the first thing go on your computer and shut down everything that could possibly make a surprise noise in the middle of your podcast. For me, if something pops up like that, um, an email notification, somebody Skypes me, anything like that, it will completely derail me. And then you got to go back and figure out what you said before everything blew up. So um, just go on your computer and shut down anything that might make an audible noise before your podcast starts. In that same line of thinking, it sounds silly, but I always forget it. So um, I'm going to mention it here. Shut off your phone and don't just shut it off. Like put it on vibrate and put it in the other room because it's very distracting in the middle of your podcast if your phone starts vibrating or you just forget to silence it and your wife calls you and reminds you to get eggs on your way home. It can be super annoying and, and derail you. So get rid of the phone and get rid of your children at least for a little while. Kids, man, if you are broadcasting from your house, just park the kids in front of a TV far, far away or uh, you know, just tell them to do something quiet for the next hour because nothing derails a uh, Seth Godin interview worse than your kid walking in asking if he can watch the Lego movie for the 15th time. So get rid of them kids, all righty? So let's talk about fans. Fans are everywhere. They are in your bathroom, they're overhead in your house, they're on your computer, they're on your refrigerator. There's just so many fans everywhere. So think about what fan is running and how you can make sure it doesn't come on, um, how you can make sure that it doesn't come across in your signal. All right? So this can be your air conditioner, your heater, uh, as I said, your refrigerator. One of the tricks I use if I'm podcasting from my house is I unplug my refrigerator and I I put something that I will need right away next to the refrigerator. So that way I remember to plug it back in and avoid an angry spouse. So that's a tip for you. Um, Now let's talk about your computer. Your computer obviously has a fan on it, so that's loud. Make sure your computer is encased in some sort of cabinet to reduce that fan noise. Some people even go as far as putting their computer in a completely different room. So most of it, for most of us, that's not necessary or in the cards. So don't worry about that too much, but just make sure it is enclosed. And also, um, your computer will make vibrations. So if you have a um, desktop microphone, if it sits on a stand on top of your desk, you need to find a different solution for your microphone. You can buy a, a cheap boom mic or you can get a wall-mounted microphone stand something like that to get your microphone actually off your desk because your computer will make vibrations and make noise in your signal. So one other thing to think about, and this you won't be able to hear if you're just sitting in your studio, but sometimes when you record, you go back and listen to the mix and there's this weird like high-pitched tone. 
And lots of times that can be due to um, some sort of electronic signal that's coming through your chain somehow. I don't know how that works. I'm not an electrician or an engineer or anything, but one of the tips for that is to plug your sound equipment into one surge protector and plug all of your non-sound equipment into another surge protector. Sometimes it'll eliminate those, those weird tones in your final mix. The last thing I'll mention is to be right up next to your microphone and get your, uh, your peaks, the loudest things you're saying, uh, between negative 12 and zero. That's going to do a lot to reduce the amount of environmental noise, and I'll tell you why. At some point, you're probably going to want to compress your audio a little bit, and what that means is you're going to squash down some of the louder things you say and bring up some of the quieter things you say. All right, so make sure you're nice and close to your mic. When you compress the audio, if you're off mic and you bring those levels up, you're going to hear all the environmental sounds a lot easier, right? So let's listen to what it might sound like if you don't do any of the things I've suggested you do and um, just kind of have a loud environment, okay? Okay, so what have I done? I've come off mic. I've opened the door to my studio and opened the door to the streets. You can hear some street traffic. Um, the, the fan in the bathroom's on. I opened the cabinet to my computer. And so you'll see when I boost these levels up, you're gonna be able to hear all that stuff much more clearly. So that's why you need to figure out what's gonna make noise before you even start. So there you have it. Obviously, your professionalism comes into question if you don't do any of the things that I talked about and you don't follow any of this advice and sound like that sounded, right? So hopefully you got something from this episode. Another thing I'd like to do right before we close each week is just talk about how audio editing can be sort of a metaphor for life, all right? So we talked a lot about our environment and um, removing things that are distracting and that will derail you. And the same goes with your personal life, right? So after you're done eliminating all the things that um, distract from your audio signal, I'd encourage you to sit down and write down all the things that are a distraction in your everyday and business life. What's holding you back? What's distracting you? What's derailing you, making you switch gears, right? And see if you can pull some of those things out as well. All right, that's all I've got. Thanks so much for listening. If you need an intro produced, if you need some funny sounds to make stuff with, if you need some music, uh, if you need some training on how to use Adobe Audition, you can find all of that on the homepage at intromachine.com. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening to Intro Machine with Ian Sturgeon. Get more tips, tools, and free stuff at intromachine.com.